All right, it's uh, January 31st, 2018, and uh, you might remember uh, the little uh, juvenile female rat that I caught in uh, one of my live traps in my washroom uh, about a month or more ago, sometime around Christmas, I guess it was, and uh, she was almost uh, comatose and um, almost died, and I managed to bring her back with uh, some uh, dextrose and uh, vitamin B injections and stuff. And that was her. This is her here. And uh, she ended up being uh, pregnant. I think I posted a video on that too. She had a bunch of little babies. And uh, here's the babies. They've, uh, they've grown up. When they were big enough to wean, I, uh, I moved them. Uh, separated the two because they were kind of bothering mama so we've had a uh, a reprieve here lately from the very extreme cold weather that we had been experiencing it was like 77 78 degrees today we're warm enough uh, here for a, a little stretch that I can go ahead and release these guys because it would just be better on them than me holding them in captivity and having to house and feed more animals than, than I really need to. And I don't use kill traps at my rescue. I'm in animal rescue and it doesn't matter if I'm a reptile rescue and that these are rats. I don't, uh, I don't kill rodents. There's no such thing as a rodent pest to me, although they may be pesky. But uh, I trap and release them elsewhere. So... Um, I'm out at uh, a local park, and I'm going to release them today. One, one of the difficult things about releasing the rats is that uh, even though they can, uh, they do, these are white-bellied roof rats, and they do, they are native wildlife, and they do live in, in the wild here, and they, uh, they love trees and everything, just like squirrels do. But uh, uh, releasing them in the winter, it's a bit of a dilemma and uh just it, turning them out you know without shelter because they're they're so used to you know infesting someone's house or basement or warehouse or whatever uh i don't want to just completely turn them out in the full on you know wild want to put them somewhere where they uh can find some shelter and food so that's why i usually bring them to this park here you know I don't want to turn them, turn them loose in the neighborhoods or in a field, you know, or something like that. So, but this is uh, this is relatively wild, so they'll have a chance here. Come on, girl. There you go. Come on. Come on, girl. Come on, baby. You can get out. There you go. <laughs> she backflipped right out of there. I'll go get your babies. Y'all probably all want to go your separate ways now, though. She's been fed good when she was with me, though. I think she's kind of like, well, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Let's go get the babies. And she's going right for the tree. That's what they do. These uh, roof rats. They're, uh, they're quite comfortable in trees. And here's all my sweet little babies. Some of them go kind of crazy, but some of them will let me pet them. Come on, babies. Come on. Come on, there you go. Come on. There we go. Come on, baby. Come on. 
There you go. Bye-bye, rat. Come here, baby. Don't you bite me. Bye-bye. Hey, baby. You okay? Hmm? You okay, rat? Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Go check on this one and make sure it's okay. Okay, it's hopping away. Come here, baby. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Bye bye, baby. Anybody left? Is that all?